Hello everyone, welcome back to the series. Next up in the guide, we'll be taking a look at Cruiser Crossing the Rainbow on Rainbow Ride. Welcome to course number 15, the game's final stage. Pretty exciting, we're on the final stretch here. This star here, like so many other stars in Super Mario 64, when you first visit a course, kind of serves as almost like a tour. Uh, we're going to be going to, <laughs> and on most stages, it's like it sends you off to the opposite corner of the map, you know, from where you spawn, so you get a, a good glance at uh, most of the areas in any given stage. Rainbow Ride is kind of like that. Uh, we'll be heading up to the giant flying ship that's above us from where we spawn in, uh, in the stage. If you were to see up and, and look up, you can pretty much see it from anywhere. Probably goes without saying, but a lot of what Rainbow Ride is is just kind of riding these flying carpets around and uh, dealing with whatever <laughs> the flying carpets fly through. As you can see, we're kind of having, we're kind of being forced to jump over these platforms. Sometimes there's the uh, Lakitu enemies that throw those spiny, little spiny guys at you. Uh, you'll be seeing a, a spot here in a second where there's this big structure that shoots flames at us. So yeah, don't get too distracted with the, the sightseeing, as I'm seeing up there. Kind of want to, it's easy to want to do. You kind of want to look around, see what's going on on the stage, where you're going. But uh, yeah, you do, you do want to be sort of aware of what's immediately in front of you. So this here is where the uh, magic carpet ride sort of splits, and we're going to be taking the left-hand carpet for this star. And uh, that kind of brings up sort of an annoying thing about Rainbow Ride. Oh yeah, watch out for the fire there. <laughs> uh, if you were to catch fire right there, you know Mario, when he, when he catches fire, he sort of runs around, sort of out of control. You can't really stop him. Um, and I think if you were to catch fire on this small little platform, this little carpet, I'm, I'm pretty sure there's not a whole lot you could do except for die. I mean, you could try to run around in circles, I guess, but I'm not sure if there's enough space to do that. Uh, but yeah, as I was saying, uh, Rainbow Ride's sort of annoying in that uh, when you don't know where to go, like if you know when you're playing the level for the first time, uh, you kind of just have to like pick a path and, and sort of roll with it. And um, a lot of times that won't be the right way just because there's so many different ways to go. And uh, when you get to the end of any one of these paths, a lot of times there's not really an easy way to get back to a different portion of the level so you can try again. So unfortunately, you kind of just have to die sometimes. You just have to start over. That's sort of just the name of the game on this stage. I mean, it is the final level, right? So I guess it should be somewhat hard. But there you go, there's the first star on Rainbow Ride. I guess the only thing to keep in mind there is that gust of wind that you get whenever you step onto that boat. I can't really imagine you being blown off by that, but I suppose it could push you into those bob bombs that were hanging out back there. And it probably would be pretty frustrating to die to one of those guys after all of that. But in any case, that was Cruiser Crossing the Rainbow. Thanks for checking out the series, and I'll see you in the next one.